Thanks for that, Brooks. It's now 617. So all month long, we've been highlighting people who make a difference in our community through our 12 Who Care Awards. And today, Kelly Tracy brings us the stories of three nominees who make the First Coast a better place to live. I'm going to be right back. I'm sorry. I'm finishing up my Christmas baking and I've got my last two <laughs> batches in the oven. That's Sunny Mulford. She's the co-founder of Epic Cure, a 100% volunteer group dedicated to rescuing unused food from grocery stores, farms and distributors and donating it to people in need. A lot of times you hear that thing, you know, about hunger in the U.S. and hunger around the world and you feel like Oh, it's just too big of a problem, but then when you see this, it's like, okay, well, we can make a dent in it here. She was inspired by the movie Wasted, the story of food waste, but also her childhood. When we grew up, we were um, very poor at times, um, even homeless a few times, and so I guess I'm trying to do what I wish somebody had done if that were happening back then. I wish somebody would have been working on it, but that wasn't the case back then. Mulford says she has seen the need increase significantly in the two years since she started Epicure, but especially during the pandemic. We're, you know, increasing our sources as much as we can to keep up with the increased demand. The people are the inspiration, definitely. Stewart, can you even do this math? Stewart, and that's S-T-E-W-A-R-D, Washington. Born and raised in Jacksonville, Stewart Washington has been volunteering practically since birth. My parents, it was in my blood in the community. They, 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 they did this kind of thing in the community, so that's all I know. He started off helping provide resources to underserved communities. My undergrad is in psychology, so and my master's in guidance and counseling, so. I became licensed after I got my master's and started doing mental health counseling on the job and then in the community. Over the years, he got involved in Mental Health America, became president of the local chapter, and helped create Northwest Behavioral Health Services nearly 30 years ago. The Kenamara Bowtie Classic Golf Tournament benefits Northwest. The agency offers mental health, substance abuse, and case management services for children and adults in underserved areas of Jacksonville. I'm the kind of person that I don't feel balanced unless I know my brothers and sisters are okay. And, and, and I don't mean that necessarily racially, I mean people, period. But I just feel passionate about I'm here for a reason and if I was blessed enough to have the quality of life that I'm satisfied with, and I think everybody should get the same break. The adoption days are definitely very rewarding, just kind of seeing kids faces and the crying and it's very hard not to be emotional for sure. That's Ashley Spears and her sister Amber who nominated her. It's truly inspiring how much she gives back to the kids that she represents and it makes me want to be a better attorney. Ashley is a senior program attorney with Guardian Ad Litem, a program that advocates in court for children who were abused, abandoned or neglected. We truly do represent what's best for kids but we're their voice in court and, and I see that's a, a very important thing. Her advocacy was inspired by her own childhood. Our parents, you know, they divorced and separated at a pretty young age. And so I think through that, you know, it was like I, I realized that kids don't really have a voice, um, you know, in divorce, those types of situations. And so really that's why I went to law school is to try to make a difference, be a voice for kids. Ashley began volunteering in 2010 while in law school, then started work as an attorney in 2013. She has also been a foster mom. Knowing that kids are safe at the end of the day, um, seeing that they're smiling and that they're going to have a better future, you know, than what they did when they were, you know, born. So that's really the most fulfilling. 